Hello YouTube, my name is Victor Bart and welcome by Dutch Video Shooter. In this video we're gonna take a look on my motorized slider made out of Lego and I made this slider a few years ago. So let me first show you some example footage. The examples I showed are two retro computer build videos, they are on my main channel and I will put the links to those two videos in the description. The setup contains out of four pieces, the controller, the track, the dolly and the camera and lens. This is the speed controller of the Leco train sets and I use it to control the dolly on the slider track. It comes with a power adapter and it outputs 9 volt. And with this knob you can control the direction and the speed of the slider. This marker is a leftover of making one of the videos. This is the slider track and it's completely made out of Lego. The length of the track where the dolly rides is 115 cm and the track is 12.8 cm wide. All around the track I made this box out of uh, Lego beams from 16 long with plates in between and on top. So it's a very strong construction. The track itself is in red and with uh, nice tiles on top of it so it is a smooth ride for the dolly. And you can see a lot of Lego pins and that makes the construction really strong. Here in the corner you see support plates, they are very important so the box keeps straight. Here's the underside of the track and as you can see it's a very clean build. As you can see the track is very strong. The camera used in the example shots is my Panasonic GH3 with the 12-35 f2.8 lens. The most important function of the camera and lens is that it has image stabilization because with Leco you have small micro vibrations and the image stabilization helps a lot with uh, nice smooth footage. With my new Panasonic GH5 I have sensor stabilization so that will help a lot on this slider. The camera is mounted on this uh, ball head with a quick release plate. Let me show you the camera dolly. It's a square box made out of Lego with four wheels. The dolly is a four wheel drive because all the wheels are driven. I use these small Lego wheels with a rubber tire. They have a lot of grip. This grey piece keeps the dolly centered in the track. It prevents the rubber wheels from touching the side of the track so it runs smooth. It's also important that your camera and lens is in balance on top of the dolly. So you can remove these pieces here. And then you can remove the ball head and put it on different positions on the dolly to have your camera and lens in balance. To mount the ball head onto Leco I use this bolt and metal washers. Here you have the small motor that powers the dolly. From the motor it goes to here to these two gears and then on the central axis here. Here you have two gear boxes that drives the axles to the wheels. The dolly runs nice and slow. But if we need a fast dolly we can simply swap the gears here. So now it runs 9 times faster. This is how it runs in the track. This is what happens when you reach the end of the track. The dolly stops but the wheels keep turning because the motor has a lot of torque but it won't fall over. Let me demonstrate the strength of the motor but don't try this at home because this is a pretty dangerous move. The motor and the traction of the wheels don't have any problems with this steep angle. And the gearboxes in the drive train prevents the dolly from sliding down. 
So here you have it, the LEGO motorized slider. It's easy to build if you have Technic LEGO. I don't gonna make a step by step guide, but this video is more a general idea how I did it. So it is best to come up with your own ID and build. And if you make one, let me know and share your video with me. If you need to buy the LEGO for this slider, I think it's around $400 of LEGO because it contains 14 meters of LEGO beams and they cost a lot. But what you can do if you don't have enough LEGO, you can make the track out of wood so you only need to make the dolly from LEGO. This LEGO slider gives me interesting shots, but you need to be very careful when operating, the dolly and camera can fall off the track very easily. And also it can have some micro vibrations so you need aim stabilization in your lens or camera. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment and check out my main channel Rage Machines. Thank you.